All right, let's go. So today I have a tutorial about building just a little bit higher with stone. But first I want to talk about something I missed in that last video. And that is about rain damage on these like little poles here. Now this is a very uh, popular little design to place on the roofs. Let's just, just extend them out and have the little angled pieces as a detail. And as you can see, those will take damage in the rain. Those, the easy way around that is to actually use the two meter, if possible. This is really only works if you plan on, you know, continuing the beam all the way down. Otherwise, you're kind of stuck with it being half in, you know, like this. But if you're okay with it going all the way down, just clipping a two meter beam so one meter of it is protected is enough to protect this. So, if, uh, you know. This rain damage drives you crazy. Here's a possible fix right here. This will not take damage in the rain. All right, so on to building just a little bit higher with stone. And before I get into that, I first would like to say if you use the four by twos here, we can go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can go up 16 meters high just with these two by fours on their own. Now, if you want to do this a brick pattern, we can only come up, what do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, I believe it is. And then like a, a 14th one here on the edge. I may have miscounted that, but uh, yeah, maybe. Okay, yeah, so 14. So as you can see, we, we're getting red up here. I'm not 100, I've been testing this. I can't quite lock down why we can build a little bit higher when we alternate and i've ran some tests and i'll show you those tests at the end which did reveal some other uh, details about this anyway so yeah we can go about 13 high maybe 14 because of these supports all right but as you can see over here we're going up a little bit higher so let's see why and i'm going to use this one uh to rebuild some of these so here we are using the two by ones and they're clipped halfway through and that's really enough to support uh, the stone to, to have it come up uh, quite a bit higher actually basically in line with the, the uh, 16 meter wall over here and that's really all you need to do and as you can see the energy if you will uh, that remains inside this block is able to spread um, I kind of think about it as, as when I look at these colors here, when I see this stone, I don't really see the green as being its stability. I see it as how much energy it has to spread up and out. So this still has a little bit of energy, at least at this level, to spread out. If I, energy, structural energy, however you want to call it, if I try to add one more there, we're not going to get anything. So yeah, no, nothing. Um, now, as you can see, I was able to take this one up a little bit higher. Um, so I'm not going to show this one because it's it's pretty standard, right? You just take a two by one, hold shift, and just try to get it as close to the wall as you can. As soon as you get that pop, you know, you're a little too far. So just rock it back just a little bit. Boop. Drop that down and just stack them up. All right. So was able to get this one up a little bit higher. And to do this, what I'm actually doing is we do have the two by ones but as you can see I am kind of clipping each two by one inside of itself so again that brings me back to this whole idea of energy like more energy to sh uh, share more energy to share more energy to share I might be thinking about this in a completely wacky way but just just how I think about it um, and as you can see we we're able to get the spread of that energy out a lot further than we were here and actually able to take it up one more um, I'm not 100% confident about that statement, but yeah, it's we are we are able to get to 17 at this point. I don't think we could do that here. No. All right. So let's see how I did this. So it's going to kind of start the same way, uh, and you know you could measure however you want to to make sure you get the exact center. I'm not going to worry about that right now. And what I'm going to do is use this one by one piece to find an approximate center. And I'm going to put one right next to it. Actually, no, I'm going to put a two by one next to it. All right, so they're side by side. And I'm actually going to build up this two by one 
right here. Okay, I think I messed this up, let's see. All right, I did mess this up. One more time. <laughs> boom, boom. Let's undo this because I want you here at least. Okay. So now that we have those there, let's grab that two by one. And we are going to try to match it up with that lower stone. And then it's just pretty simple. Just boom, just kind of clip it halfway through. Just point your cursor basically at that edge. It goes pretty easily. Going all the way up. There's a few more to go. All right. And I believe we can probably tie Mr. Center. We could probably take it up one more, but let's just uh, add one more there. Just take it up as far as we can. If you notice lag when you're doing uh, builds, it's uh, calculating. All right, so we'll get rid of these. There we go. And now we're able to build just oops, a little bit higher. Just building up. And I don't think we can go... Yeah, that's it. That's it for us. Oh, uh, yeah, that, that, that dropped as well. Yeah, so there we go. We're able to take it up just a little bit higher. Now, we can actually get the same kind of support as we are right here using another technique. I don't really like it, but let's just take a look at it anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this out. Three, give myself a wall. So we're coming out three meters, so if I pull out this two by four and I put it up against this edge, we can see that three meters are out and obviously that means one meter is in. And so if I build that up, build up as high as we can go there, it's going to break. And now, finish up this wall. All right, I want to clip you in. No, you're out. That should be it. As you can see, we kind of get the same situation as we're getting here with the, oh, sorry, not here, the one, uh, this one here. We're kind of getting the same situation as we are here with this half clip through. It's kind of hard to see, they're a bit far away, but we're basically getting that same height. All right, let's redo this. This time, this will only come out two. It's breaking up there, okay? And let's just kind of clip this through, that will do build this all the way up so now two meters are out which means one meter is in the wall and another meter is out of the wall here and that will give us the stability a bit closer to this version here where we're clipping these one by twos in to one another so let's see if we can get it up that high Boom. Let's get these guys down. And you are here, so you gotta clip in. Very nice. Yeah, this is gonna be a be nice way to go go. Ah how do I wanna do this? Let's just do it this way. Right, so boom. Yeah, I might be able to get you. Go. There it is. Boom. So that also broke, and as you can see, when we use this piece to clip through, we basically get the same level of support as we do with this one here. Um, it looks like I'm off a little bit. Last time I tested, I was getting the exact same support. It looks like we're getting a little bit less now, so maybe I just did something wrong. Um, so, yeah, so. 
that is basically it when it comes to building just a little bit higher using only stone and using stone to kind of build these uh, support columns. And if you need to get a little bit more performance out of these support columns, you can also do this. Now I will warn you, I took this to its maximum at one point and I started clipping these stones halfway through themselves vertically and horizontally and it just created way too many instances. One wall was just like, was, would lag things out. So. Um, even after all the calculations, so I would recommend you, uh, yeah, well, do whatever you want, but try to, you might want to keep this uh, to a, a minimum. So yeah, that is everything I have to say about building just a little bit higher using only stone. If you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them. If you want to like, I would appreciate that. And my next series of videos coming out will be be all on builds. So I have a handful of builds that I want to upload as V builds to Nexus, as I said in the last video. And so I'll just make a video for each of those builds, uh, doing a little walk around. So I hope you enjoy that as well. And so uh, until next time, everybody, take it easy.